Wow, today's just not the day, huh? Alongside with the Sonic.exe situation that's going on lately, we also have another situation happening right here on Roblox, this time involving with a Roblox FNF game. We are going to be diving into the situation and explain everything about it, so make sure you smack the like and subscribe. We have to spread awareness about this one once again. Very, very serious stuff. People should know what's going on, and let's get right into it once again. A Roblox FNF game has been shut down and discontinued over some more drama that's going on on the FNF Twitter community. The Roblox game that is going to be involved is going to be yet another Funkin' Night, but apparently they've been caught doing some shady stuff and also have been exposed as we'll explain later on in the video. The lead tipper for this is going to be Robotic Developer who is the owner of the Friday Night Bloxing FNF game. And a little bit of a good news as well regarding him. They've actually solved their situation from back in October. It looks like they're working with mod developers now, which is really great to see. But they actually created a document that's called Yet Another Funkin' Night Secret Story that we're going to be diving into and try to get a grasp of what's really going on here. The document starts with an individual, Inku Guts, who was the head staff on YAFN. The document states that on January 6th, Incuguts made a tweet blaming FNB for a raid that happened inside of their server. Even though we have done nothing to provoke them, they didn't contact us about this privately and instead immediately brought it to Twitter. When I find out about this, I tried asking them who specifically raided them. They refused to answer all of my questions. Here you can see some of those tweets archived, including Ink saying that the FNB harassed KMEX for versus Ace Per. Terms, to which Robo states that back in October they were but since they have apologized and haven't done anything related to mod stealing, which is confirmed. InQ has still been spreading word that we were still stealing mods and putting them into our game. This last image specifically exposes Ink actively trying to sabotage the game and also gatekeeping stuff from FNB. So already in this situation, you have a lead developer of yet another funky night trying to cause harm to another Roblox FNF game. That's not really a good example of what a lead staff member does for their game. The next part of the document talks about Fogu Dragon, who was a contributor for Yaffin as well, and apparently they have been spreading misinformation about FNB and also reviews to talk things out and settle things. We could see this being shown on the conversation down below with Robo trying to communicate professionally while Fogu is not opening up. Again, not portraying a good image for their game. Robo's document continues to bash on other contributors and also developers from Yaffin about spreading the misinformation and also pretty much like causing harassment over towards the developers of FNB as well. But things really start to get worse, especially when the document starts targeting Mankey, who is going to be the main owner and also director of yet another funky night. And this is going to cause another trigger warning to pop up on the video because we're going to be talking about some sensitive stuff moving forward. So if you are sensitive about such topics, please kindly do tune out. Here, section 5 states that she's not only done bad stuff to FNB, but to her own contributors as well. It was found that she promoted people to harass FNB, didn't pay her developers or contributors, defended a P-word person twice, and also contributed towards illegal acts as well. Regarding to FNB harassment, we can see that they actually created models of Robo and visually harassing him in their own game. There was even this video of Manky kicking Robo who was stuffed in a trash can off a cliff as well. Harassment like this should never be tolerated, especially when it comes to Roblox. The fact that they were actually putting these models and doing this in their own game on Roblox is against terms of service. And if Roblox finds out about this, they could actually take action and possibly delete the game from their website. The document also shows screenshots of Mackie supporting groomers and saying that it's illegal, but they're just a massive A word. This shows proof 
of Mackie underpaying her developers where Mackie said that she pays 5,000 Robux per animation and 7 to 9,000 per modeled animation. But we can see Eva Walter got paid around 80,000 Robux for 23 animations which comes out to be around 3,500 Robux per project. Lower than what she claims. There was also an anonymous contributor for Yafin that got paid around 20,000 Robux for doing over 40 animations for the game. Yeah, you heard that right. 20,000 Robux for 40 animations. The guy got scammed big time, but things don't end there for Yafin as well. Robo states, you want to know something that most of the Yafin higher ups have been participating in? They've been distributing bad images to people below the age of 18. Some people who I know who are involved in this are Mackie, Inkyo, Melon, Mushy, and Rotten, who's the only person who's over 18 by the way. Mushy, a former moderator and a welcomed member in the Yaffin server, had a server which was used for hanging out, sharing art, and sharing images. Guess who was in it? A bunch of 16 year olds with minors having access to these NSFW channels. This is coupled with anonymous individuals in the chat confirming that they were 16 as well as Mushy who was also 16 years old. Here is a screenshot of Evelyn posting NSFW art in the chat that is, once again, participating in the distribution to minors. Even Mushy posted a picture on their own Twitter of a highly suggestive image that shouldn't have been posted publicly. Oh, and it looks like after the document has been posted, Mackie is actively trying to dox Robo and share their information illegally as well. Pretty much icing on the cake, case closed. Woo! With all these situations going on, you really couldn't think that things could get worse for the game, right? And you would also think that they would have their own response to this whole situation too, right? Well, not exactly. Inc. ended up privating their Twitter account a couple of days ago, so we can't even see what they said exactly in any of their tweets, and they can't post a response. Yet another funky night actually agreed to discontinue development and cease operations over on Roblox. I'm not even kidding about that. If we go over to the details page of the game, it says the game has been discontinued and will no longer be updated. Have fun with what we had prepared in store for next week. Again, it's another situation that is negatively affecting us over on the Roblox community side of things. It's just really sad to see the developers take this path and go down this route. But what do you guys think about the situation going on? Do you think YAFN is in the wrong here? And do you think they deserve a second chance? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's talk about this. Make sure you smack the like and subscribe. We have to spread more awareness about the situation. But make sure you stay safe and we'll see you guys on the next one.